Hello and welcome to another update video about Solana. Solana only a quick one because there hasn't really been a change to the previous video. More of a confirmation that it's all going into the desired direction here at the moment. Solana really one of the coins that has followed nearly perfectly all the moves here that were forecasted. Um, it has followed really well and that gives me confidence into the future because it means that when we are riding the right wave count that also the next wave counts will be absolutely correct or should be correct because um you know if it's <clears throat> if it's following the wave count it means the target should be correct and it just gives more confidence so solana currently in this five wave decline down that we expected already here after that um sort of wedge pattern finished it um then could have finished the, the fifth wave here where you can currently see the pink wave one but i told you here that to really say, okay, wave finish, wave five has, has finished, which would have meant the correction is over, we would need to see price action above $48.41, which we never saw, and therefore prime expectation remained that we continue our move down, which we are, and um, we've seen a nice wave one and a wave two. I've outlined for you the roadmap here, which it is perfectly following here. Lastly, hit the target area of the wave four, came very, very close to the target of the wave five. And then um, we could say here, the yellow wave count has been com completed. And we, um, with that, we finished the wave three in pink. We then moved up in a wave four in pink, which was expected as well. It hit, I believe, one of the targets that I gave you. Let me just double check that. We can take a look at the wave four retracement and yeah, it did get, okay, so it came to the 23.6% FIP level. I think I told you most likely would be the 38.2% FIP level at $33, but the 23.6 is already the minimum it needs to do in a way four. So we could say if we now see a strong reaction to the downside, we could even say that it might be complete that way four. Yeah, so it's still waiting here, possibly for a little bit more upside in a wave three, uh, sorry, in the way four to the 38.2%, but this is not guaranteed. Now, the way this is coming down here looks rather corrective, which means we could still be sort of in a corrective wave. And um, overall, this whole pattern looks corrective. Yeah, but what is currently coming down here would suggest we might see one more leg up, okay? And that could then hit that 38.2% FIP level at $33 or even the 50% FIP level at $35.41. That this wave four is indeed over would be confirmed below basically $26. If we go below $26, um, then we can count this as a one, two and another one, two, and we might now be in the wave three, but th that would be an extended wave three due to the two, one, two patterns, okay? So it could come down quite a bit. And I would say the wave five, as I said before, sort of in the region to finish around 19 to $21. Mm -hmm. That is how I see it currently. And this is really everything I can tell you at the moment, right? There isn't much more. Um, you can see it here that is still the Fibonacci extension target for the wave five. Yeah, the last leg down, $19.46. I'll leave it on the chart because this is what we calculated based on the length of the wave one here um, and looked at it for the length of the wave four. Uh, sorry, and um, the wave five oftentimes equals wave one. Yeah, especially if wave three is a bit of an extended one. Um, and this is what we're looking for here, 1946. Uh, not 100% guaranteed, but a good orientation to get an idea of where the overall correction might be finished. And it would match pretty well those um, support levels back here in July and June 21. And besides that, we're gonna have a look at how the day is going. Uh, it will be a bit unpredictable. There will be a lot of movement going on, a lot of volatility, especially due to the um, upcoming FOMC statement. Um, interest rate increase decision for July. Um, I believe a lot has been priced in already. So a lot of people now expect still another dip. I don't necessarily, not as a result of necessarily this announcement. We just need to be open to all, all sides here because it will be an unpredictable day. It, it will be. No, you know, there's just too much short-term volatility going on. So I'll keep you updated nevertheless. And um, then we'll take it from there and we'll take it from, you know, we, we look at the chart as soon as the dust has settled anyway, um, but expect a lot of volatility and maybe even unpredictable short term moves. It's usually short term. Yeah. Okay, so hopefully you liked the update about Solana. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. If you really like the content, check out the channel membership. 
make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter yeah, and only use the official links in the video description. There are scam accounts, so only use the official ones. And maybe you're even interested in checking out the trading course I'm offering on morecryptoonline.com. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.